Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be my weekly organization um, tips, pros, and how I basically organize my week. Let's get started. So a friend of mine asked me on Facebook, how do you organize via paper? Because I'm pretty much kind of like in my routine, I don't always use this, but I definitely um, use this when I have like a lot of things that I want to accomplish for the week. So let's get started. Um, this is my daily question. I would definitely post something in your notebook. See, I just stapled it. Your daily question, do I like having a boss? Do I want someone to tell me what to do? Do I want to make my own rules? Absolutely, freaking So that's, that's my motivation. Um, knowing definitions, um, self-reliance, self-independence. These are very good, helpful things because we forget the words and the definitions that we use daily and believe in your happiness. This is definitely something I have to focus on via weekly. And I wrote myself a thank you card because I don't give myself enough kudos for taking the risk and just jumpstarting my life the way I want it to. Um, so these are just things, forgiving yourself, loving yourself, committing to these dreams of yours, eating healthy, and educating myself. Um, I also staple other things in here. I created a little folder, so I kind of wish, which I plan on doing my own self one day, my own creating my own journals. Um, business cards, little calendars, little sticky notes, or whatever. Um, I go to more definitions, colors. This obviously was something I got later in the week. Um... I quit my job that day, so it was really a big moment for me, and quit fighting the goodness of idea. Um, this is all these old things. Organize. Always put, just organize, and make sure your focus weeks. Pink hanger event. Um, write goals. Commitment. Understand that word. It's dedicated to a cause or activity. So this is your activity. Um, this is how I work out. I do this type of stuff, because you have to if you want to, you know do this and then this is that and this is the month um i haven't actually this is weird because i didn't i told you guys i'm pretty much into it but focus on goals and i create a number a daily task number so anything that helps you focus create a number for that um but yeah that's my thing and then i i put something in the back of it so when i complete this i'll know this is my little young himself um, it's a picture my dad took me to do. I was so thugging out with this. <laughs> um, and then I wrote myself a little note. And I think it's really important to write yourself notes throughout your journal while you're doing this. Um, you're going to need your color pens. I have plenty more, but this is just what I decided. Markers, definitely. Um, highlighter, pens, blue, black, and a color one. Black and blue helps you memorize things very well. I would say understand who you are. This is a personality color test. Um, it helps you just figure out what are your strengths and pretty much your weaknesses. The weaknesses are at the bottom, so always focus on your strengths. Um, these are mine. And I have like a little cute, I have a lot of notebooks. I have a cute little notebook. Yeah, and I just put that in there. And then these are all my little notes. <laughs> Um, see, sometimes I actually write my stuff on paper and knock it out. So I always have set a time schedule, like I'll do 12 to 7 or something like that, or anything that helps me get organized. Um, and then my Bible study, I make sure I do that an hour a week, or I mean, not, I'm sorry, not an hour a week, four days a week after breakfast. Um, my stepmom got me this. It was really beautiful and nice. I always wanted something that was engraved in mine. Um, and yes, I actually do this and take notes. Um, I'm actually working on Corinthians right now. So yeah, just commit to that, your spiritual practice. Um, Spanish, I do that for 30 minutes a day and I actually do seven minutes of Sp seven Spanish songs. Um, my focus, book. these are my focus books. I'll be finding little gems in my uncle's freaking like butler's pantry. Um, I'm gonna start this, but probably maybe next week sometime soon. I kind of like to read two books at a week because I really, um, I'm like a Forbes.com geek because I'm trying to build my wealth, you know? So I've been um, taking little notes here. That's from a magazine. And then I, you guys know I have meal plan, meal prep for the week. And I just kind of use this as my little um, binder. I like to like have little notes about skin clearing. Um, I'm one of those people who actually clip art. <laughs> Freaking, um, but this is how I kind of used to organize my week, fish or something like that. Recipes and then anything like that, I kind of just prep my week based off what I want to eat. So that is my organization a week and then you're going to head over upstairs with me to film my fashion helping guide for you ladies. I created a little workspace area for you guys um, just to show you how I 
focus on my fashion for the week. Do, 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 do. You always need good books, references. This was given to me by one of my old maintenance guys in my apartment building. <laughs> my brother created that. And of course, I'm a doodler. You always need a good stack of pencils, color pencils, all of that. I have plenty more down here. My paint, spray paint, all that good stuff. Um, you want to get some folders. I have more, but I just showed you guys. This is little things. Um, I have like cute, created this cute little pouch. And I just kind of put like little inspiration posts inside and whatever I need for that week. So we can just set that over there. And then my motivation. This was actually given to me by one of Darius. I'm going to link his page down below. I was so happy that he made this for me. And then I create templates so I don't have to... Uh, I'm a little lazy when it comes to sketching, so I just rather get straight to it. So I just create templates, print them off, and have them for myself. Um, you always need color swatches. I'll show you in here how I do that. This is just a Polaroid camera. I thought it was so cool. My grandpa gave... Well, yeah, he gave it to me. Um, and then I always kind of create com color combinations. Um, this is my fashion journal. I started this in college, and then I kind of just continued on with it. Um, and you always want to make your little own vowel commitment thing. Yeah, you need color swatches, all of that. Always use good colors. You need it. And then you have your little reference papers. Whenever I'm trying to do a new design, I always find fun little... Um, this is all my just reference stuff. So you want to get a good book like that. Um, and then we have this, which I created as well. And you just want to create something that's colorful. I'm a colorful person. I need inspiration constantly. And then you want to have your little inspiration, your color wheels, um, more color swatches, and then some more inspiration. Sticky notes are definitely a must. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini fashion section. And... I hope this inspires you guys to just continue to love art, live art, die art.